this is again just an idea for progression it doesn't and, and stringing things together what i'm going to demonstrate might not work for you and your dog maybe space maybe your dog's uh, preference for certain tricks um, or dislike of certain tricks but this is one i actually started working with him this morning on it just that way i could see how it would work together and what i'm going to do it's a skill called back chaining and really what i'm doing is i'm going to train the last thing in the series that i have in my head first and then i'm going to add one trick before every time i ask him to go through the series so the series i want him to do is <coughs> is start on one side of our yard, heel with me for three steps and spin as I keep walking, go through my legs, and then twirl and sit. So I'm going to end with twirl and sit on my left, and then I'm going to add a back through, and then I'm going to add the spin while I'm walking, and I'm just going to work myself backwards. And I know that sounds really confusing, but when I, when I do it, I hope it makes sense to you guys. So let me move this swimming pool out of the way and other things I never thought I'd have to say in a dog training class. I'm a dog trainer, not a cameraman. All right. Let's see if I can. There we go. All right. I hope that doesn't fall over. Cool. So the Stupid nature. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get him back. Captain, come. Sit. Through. Twirl. Sit. So again, this is the last behavior. I want this to be the last thing, but I'm adding one step each time. Ready? So that's back chaining in a nutshell. We've done through, we've done spin. We haven't done a lot of walking, but you can do any of these tricks with some forward motion or backward motion, like our walking weave going forward or backwards. Um, and then I just put them in a twirl going the other way and a sit. Um, so that's just a series of five behaviors that I link together for one cookie using back chaining. Last behavior first, in this case, it was the sit twirl to sit is the last thing that he had to do but then I added the through the legs from behind for my right to kind of cross him through to that side twirl sit and then I added spin through twirl sit and then I moved him back so we had to do three paces with a spin through twirl sit so when I'm talking about stringing behaviors together that's just one way to do it um, have you guys had a chance to try any of these um, if so I hope you can show me